So, hello guys, uh, how are you all doing today? Today, I got in front of me a whole six Nissan Pathfinder, the SE that runs on a 4.0 V6 cylinder engine and uh, brings out 279 horsepower. And I can't actually say what color it is, but it's blue but then shiny blue. So I guess I'm gonna call it a shiny blue. It's the SC Trim with a 16 alloy rims. It's quite good. Uh, the vehicle comes with a standard seven seaters for, you know, for the whole family. And that, you know, everyone that like, if you like to have people in your vehicle, your friends, your family, you got kids you know that's good for you and this is the exterior from I believe from 2005 to 2012 this is the exterior that that, that nation brought out you know and this looks pretty good I believe you know the 2013 models do not look too good they look quite um, they look sissy-ish, but this one looks macho to me. The the exterior, the looks of it, the looks of it look macho. Looks, you know. Uh, I I think uh, composes a presence, you know. But then the 2013 you know, poor the Pathfinders do not look too good. They don't look, you know, too manly. I believe, you know. But uh, back then, this vehicle was one of the. You know, base vehicles. A lot of people keep saying, "Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's got transmission problems. It's got, you know, the all from the uh, a radiator going into the transmission and everything looking milky and all that." But luckily for me, this vehicle has not shown any sign of you know wearing out soon or nothing. And if we take a look inside right now, well, I don't mind that. That's a, that's a soccer ball. That's a soccer ball. So, look inside right now. We got the cream interior i call it cream because look at that it looks cream like so the cream interior well we don't have the navigation here because it was a, a low, i think the low trim i believe but the vehicle's got heated seats uh it's got the let's see right there the moon roof and everything the you know good stuff uh air condition works the seats heat up for you the steering wheel doesn't eat up for you, but you know, I don't mind about that. I'm I'm about six, six two, six three, and I feel good up front here. I feel real good. And if we take a look at the back seat, if we take a look at the back seat, we've got some room because let, let me try to sit in there. Let me try to sit in there so I can show you guys. See that? I fit a little bit, you know, if I put this chair forward from the front, if I put it forward, I'll fit good, you know, but, you know, we ain't gonna do that today. But anyway, let's get out from there. So, we got three rows back here where someone can sit over here at the back. And, I mean, pretty good for the family on vacation and road trips and stuff. We got the, uh, the roof rack right here. Take a look at that. You got the roof rack where you can put your stuff properly. You know, if you got a kayak, a cano and stuff, you can start it up here. Maybe you got some load in bed or you're moving. You can start stuff on there right there, you know. And so, let's take a look at the back seat, you know, the third row. Mm, only if I can get that. So you have to put that lever and then right there, push it. And there you have it. Oh, I don't mind that, that's a suck. So, there you have it. There's the back seat right there the third row seat which is i believe just for little kids no i don't think no adults will fit in there that's for kids but you know that's how to do it and uh the vehicles come come with standard uh you got the floor mat right under there and you got the normal weather uh mat right there also in the front seat is the same thing you got the the normal floor mat that come with the vehicles and then you got the weather mat for you know for winter or or the rainy season you know 
enough space, enough room right there, you know, for a normal sized person. And this right there, it can be for the kids, you know, with your kids up there, and they're gonna be good to go. And the vehicles also come with a standardized Bose system. You can look at it right there. That's a Bose system right there, and it sounds so good. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you guys in a minute. I'll play it to you guys so you can hear the sound. And also, let's take a look at the back. See, so there's enough room at this back. If only you can just move down this sits right here. Let's see, put this back there. Excuse me. So put this. There's enough room. All you gotta do is just move this, slide it down. Move this and slide it down. That is good enough for our vacation, right there. Maybe you wanna go on a go into the woods and on a weekend with your partner or something. You can put that down and just stay back there. You know, I find enough room, enough space. Man, funny enough, something funny to me is this vehicle was it from 206, right? And they got a first aid kit right there. That's a first aid kit. And this is the first time that I'll be taking this down. Should I do that? Should I do that? Okay, let's do that. Let's see what's inside the first aid kit. Let's see, what, wow. Okay, okay. So, let's see what's inside. Okay, I don't think this has ever been used. This has never ever been used. They've got some paperwork in there, some first aid bandages, and uh, scissors. Wow, wow. That looks like old, old. Well, anyway, that's about that. I mean, that looks good. That feels good, you know. And now, ooh, there we have that. So, uh, the vehicle for my daily transportation, you know, it's, it's my daily. This is my daily right here. I take this to work and everything. And uh, it helps me economically uh, fuel efficiency. It's quite good for me. All I have to do is just put in like 25 bucks worth of gas a week. And it takes me the whole week to and fro from my workplace. And I don't spend too much. And that's, you know, that that's a, that's a, that's a blessing, I believe, because... Financially, I'm, you know, I like to save money, and this vehicle helps me to save money in so many ways. In so many ways, I tell you. So let's 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 try this up. Let's start it up. Let's see. You hear that? Yep. The head condition. Now let's put it up. It makes a whole lot of noise though. But in, I mean, I don't blame it for a vehicle that was made in 06. It still works properly. And I've got, let's see, I've got about 234,000 miles on there. Which is quite good. Which is quite good. Let's put that down. Which is quite good. Enough space. Head space. Moonroof and everything you know let's put that down let's put it down still is clean works properly but one problem is it breaks off that right there breaks off i don't know why it breaks off but it's broken off uh what about what else well we got enough room right here to put stuff you got a room back there well i think that's about it you go oh uh, a glove box your glove box right there Another one up there for you, for your uh, paperwork and documents and stuff, you know, right there. Mm. You got airbags everywhere. I like that. You got airbags on the steering wheel. You got airbags on the passenger side. You got airbags on the headrest. You got airbags almost everywhere, which is quite good and safe. And um, I'm going to be bringing out more videos, you know, concerning this vehicle and what I've, you know, done to it. 
uh, how he's been driving, if he drives good or bad, you know, I'll let you guys know. But before we go there, let me try and put this vehicle in drive and show you guys how it, how, how it goes, you know. Let's see how he drives. And don't worry, that uh, tire pressure uh, sign keeps showing and it never go, goes out. So I've tried everything I can, but it doesn't go out. So I'm, I'm used to it now. Uh, the check engine light comes out once in a while, but then I checked it out and then um, all I have to do is just tie my gas cap and boom, it disappears and I haven't had any uh, check engine light come back on in a while. I mean, the brake works properly, speeds up, dies good, drives proper. Controls the presence and stuff. You know, I'm going. I'm still going to talk about the fact that this vehicle, this vehicle is uh, looking looks way more better than the one from you know 2012 and stuff. And also, do not forget, this vehicle's got brings out 279 horse pores, and that is pretty good. But I know, I know, I do not speed up. I don't, I ain't ne I'm never not gonna use uh, up to that horsepower on a, in a day when driving or nothing because I don't like speeding. I've seen a whole lot happen to me, you know, when speeding, so I, I learned my lesson. I ain't never gonna speed anymore. But anyway, uh, that is it today for the videos. And also, I got to let you guys know, please wash your hands, you know, stay in the house, stay clear you know like you can stay clear you can go out and buy food and stuff but you know stay, stay six feet apart from people do not stay close to people do not go around people that much you know uh stay safe wash your hands be clean be neat and uh i promise we're gonna be out there and come back safe and that's it for today if you like the video please uh subscribe to the uh channel uh click the like button you know and uh, we're going to see more. And my next video, I believe, is going to be me talking immensely about how the vehicle drives at about 238,000 miles and stuff. We're going to see how it drives, uh, what has been done to it, what I'm going to do to it. I'm not, I, I, I don't actually have a plan to do nothing to it. But anyway, that's what we got for today. I'll see you guys some other time. And also, also... I do not, you know, make videos all the time because I'm quite busy sometimes, you know. But I just decided to make this one today it's for you guys so we can, you know, all focus and be happy while we're on lockdown and quarantine. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Merci beaucoup.